All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna do a quick Kentaro playthrough here. A little strategy guide on how to beat Kentaro. A lot of people ask me, they'll say, we can make it to Kentaro, but he always beats me. What can I do to beat him? I'm gonna explain some things after this battle, okay? I'm going to explain it after. Okay, but watch and see if you can uh, see a pattern going on here. I'll tell you a little bit about this part now, too. Okay, so you jump kick. As soon as he goes to throw that uppercut, you can connect. You got to watch for his fireball, you got to watch for his teleport stomp, all of that. But that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is hand down the easiest method. I'm going to talk about it a little bit. So as you can see, I just used uh, high kick. You can use high kick, low kick, whatever. Kentaro will basically chase you down, okay, from either side of the screen. If you go to attack or something, he'll usually counter with something immediately. So if I throw a kick, even if I'm, I'm on the other side of the screen, I throw a kick, he'll throw a fireball. Or he'll do his teleport stomp. Or, uh, you know, he'll throw a punch or something. But what you got to do is you got to really learn to uh, distance yourself and uh, time that jump kick. So you saw how I was doing it there. I would jump in and kick and he would throw an uppercut. He'd miss with that uppercut. That right there is all about distance and judging the distance. And 90% of the time that'll work. Now, after you land with a kick and it's in the corner, for instance, you can't just keep going back and jumping into that kick because the odds are he's going to throw a fireball or he's going to uppercut or he's going to do something. So you do have to kind of jump back during that, like after you um, corner him. Okay, there's different strategies. Other people have different strategies, but this is my strategy. So I jump back, okay? When I jump back, he usually retaliates with a teleport stomp or a fireball. And because you're jumping, you should be able to miss both of them. When he does do his teleport stomp, depending on the range, you jump back, you push kick, and you will hit him. Now, when he lands, that opens him for a free shot. So if you're Scorpion, you can always throw a harpoon as soon as he lands kind of thing. Or if you're Sub-Zero, you can freeze him. That kind of thing. But uh, that's basically the gist of what you were going to do to Kentaro the entire time. If your timing is good enough when he teleport stops, you can even uppercut that if you want. You can catch him with that, but your timing's got to be very, very precise on that. So the easiest strategy I find is just finding that range for that jump kick and timing it properly. He will throw an uppercut, and you can see that. He's about to throw it, but your kick will always connect if you are in the right range. And again, that works with every character. So, that being said, there is your strategy guide for Kentaro.